Okay, welcome back to more Root Double. And when we last left off, we gotta listen to Ukita give a speech. Nazika was completely inattentive. He couldn't get his minds off the safety measures Ukita had talked about. Well, let's see. Just leave it even and see what happens. They better have improved their safety measures. That's a thought that came to my- Oh! Then he recalled what Jin had said. Actually... Let's let Yuri be the highest. See if that changes. Then he suddenly thought about Yuri, who was waiting at home. Never again should that happen. That's right, that's that's the context clue in that situation. We know... Whenever he thought about Labo, he would worry about Yuri. We know that something happened to Yuri in there. Which caused her, uh... Agoraphobia. Something of a conditional, conditioned reflex that had sunk deeply into his mind for years and years. Natsuko looked at it, looked to the sky outside the window. The sky had been clear just a while ago, but dark clouds had covered it before he had noticed. It's a little depressing. Natsuko shook off that feeling and refocused on Ukita's lecture. Eventually, the two hours of the special lecture, including a break, came to a smooth close. Thank you for sparing us the rest of the lecture. And with that, Ukita left the classroom. Natsuhiko stretched out wide, Mashiro spoke up. Do we have to? Now that he thought about it, Natsuhiko did remember something he wanted to ask Ukita. <laughs> Mashiro and Natsuhiko left Sally in the classroom as they followed Ukita out. When they got, an, got out into the hallway, they caught sight of him walking away. お疲れ様です。浮田先生。うん。何事もなかったよ。事故を口実に2日も仕事を休めたから、むしろありがたかったくらいさ。ああ。よかった。心配しちゃいましたよ。おわっ、ちょっと、ちょっと。なんだね。
私何日か前バス止めるためにテレパシー使っちゃいましたそういえばあれも不特定多数人だったなあはいや落ち着きたまえあくまで強力なテレパシーだったらの場合だよ You c a l l me weak old man 普通のコミュニケーターの普通のテレパシーならそんなに問題はないだろう OK Calling me normal But still I tried real hard 大声で叫ぶのとさほど変わりはしないからねそうですかよかったとはいえやはり用心するに越したことはないよ特に夏彦君はどうだい夏彦君あの後テレパシーをしばしば使ったりはしてないだろうねおああいえあれから一度も使えてませんというかあれは何かのまぐれだったようですあそうかそれなら心配はないかもねウキリス expression relaxed and he continued。まあ、取り越しグローだとは思うが、一応心に留めておいてくれたまえ。それでは、僕はラボに戻るよ。本業が残っているのでね。あ、あはい。ありがとうございます。お疲れ様でした。ウキリス waved his hand at, at Natsuko and Marshall's farewells as he left the hallway。なんとなく。きつな話だなうんあのテレパシーが1キロ先まで届いてたってのはすごいけどいずれにせよ無差別テレパシーはもう控えた方がいいなだね私も少し軽率だったよマシロ sounded a little bit frightened as she spoke 不安かマシロ大丈夫だよおじさんも言ってたじゃないか普通のテレパシーだったら大声で叫ぶのとそんなに変わらないってう,うん分かってるよどうしたの急にそんなに不安げに見えた You sound easy ちょっとな何まさか気使ってくれてんの And there goes まあな<笑>ど,どうストレートだねなんか調子狂うよいいじゃないか心配くらいマシュは suddenly smiled as she heard, as she heard that <笑>夏彦はやっぱそういうとこだけは right, マシュは started to speak she heard a voice from behind コーラそこの二人何をやってるの帰りの Alright She turned around to see Anna あはい Natsuko and Mashita rushed back into the classroom. Maneuvering. Then, after an ordinary homeroom came to a close, school ended. Mashiro, Saryu, Kairoka. Okay, Iko Saryu. And together they left the classroom. All the while, the ignoring the clamor of voices, both real and telepathic. Oh, here we go. He ain't gonna show up with this crowd. I'm 
前の出番じゃねえよ別に引っ込んだろいいや言わせろ七七君に伝えたいことがあるんだよし俺が認める行ってみろエンジェル神谷ありがとう見下のバカさていいか七七君 If you, sit, if you start singing a fucking song, I'm turning off this video and giving up on this game. We gotta keep doing this by telepathy so that the main characters can get in on it. Well, they made it. Hooray. Oh, come on, can we go now? They finally made it. Can we go home now? Finally, Jesus Christ. They pass through the hallway, Marshall asked the other two a question. After we spent ten after <laughs> We spent ten fucking minutes in the in homeroom listening to that fucking gathering play out. Enough time to go anywhere else. Alright. Unlike and it's supposed to build up to the to an, the incident but it's just been really <sighs> they left the school building it was dim and gloomy outside it's going with just 90% normal school life and 10% build to an the incident, it feels like, almost. Natsuko looked up to the sky in response. Maybe it feels like that because I was just hoping for war. 
and the slower parts are just dragging more for me because I expected something different. Could be. I'd... That has been known to happen to me before, right? Let myself get bogged down by something. Sure enough, it looked like you would start pouring at any moment. Oh boy, hope we can at least make it home before it starts raining. What Nazi who had that hope? There it goes. Drop by drop, the rain began to fall. I looked at the bus stop in the front of the school, just as the bus began to arrive. The three of them boarded the bus as they chatted amongst themselves. Oh, hello. It was a little crowded inside. There were probably other people who rushed to board the bus after the rain started to fall, too. Natsuko let Salio and Mashiro sit in the seats and stood next to them. Natsuko thought for a second before speaking. Mashiro's eyes gleamed at Natsuko's proposal. Usually Natsuko spent his Sundays with Yuri. But just this once probably wouldn't hurt. まあ、観光名所みたいなものは特にないけど、ちょっと変わった街ではあるしな。妙は。じゃあ、どこか見学できる研究施設でも探してみようか。あと、できれば、もう少し買い物もしたい。あれ何か買いたいものでも思いついた
とりじゃあさっては市内を巡りつつショッピング三昧だねきっと楽しいよふうん早くあさってにならないかなそれはマッシュと言ってたおお Her eyes opened wide as if she had noticed something. Natsuko called out to her dubiously. Mashlo didn't answer. Huh? Far from it, she just stared straight ahead without saying a word. Mashlo? You, you good? Her face just froze abruptly. Something was clearly wrong. Natsuko got worried and whispered to her. マシロおいってあっマシロ That's when マシロ slowly turned back and looked at Natsuko as if she had come back to her senses ナツヒコどうした何かあったのかあのあれマシロ looked around the bus stammering What's wrong? Natsuko looked around the bus too, but he didn't see anything happening. Everyone was just sitting quietly in their seats. <laughs> Mashiro didn't answer for a while, but eventually she spoke with a smile. <laughs> That was fucking scary. <laughs> Someone targeted telepathy? Hmm. That would be terrifying. Just unrecognized targeted telepathy. That said, Natsuki was actually relieved at Mashlo's answer. Three of them quietly waited to reach their destination. Once they got quiet, the bus was filled with silence. Occasionally. Uh oh. Alice is diff. Alice would faintly growl. Aside from that, the bus was silent. Who do we piss off on this bus? That's terrifying. <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> When they got back to the house, they were greeted by Yuri. Okay, um. <laughs> I should know better, but at the, at the point when peaceful days start to wear out its welcome, the, the game drops that on me and creeps me the fuck out. <sighs> Masha already seemed back to her cheerful self. She spoke as she headed towards the kitchen. <laughs> I just. I just want to point out that was genuinely fucking unsettling. <laughs> Maybe that's what they are going for, the. To get you lulled into a false sense of security by these peaceful days where nothing of importance seems to happen. So when something like that happens, it just. Knocks her socks off all the more, in which case, well done. That's success. Like how, in after, they made it. made a route that was especially frustrating. That no one seemed to believe you or trust you, and everyone seemed to be gaslighting you. And it wasn't meant to intentionally frustrate you, and it did. Like, on a meta level. It's meta level again. And with that, Mushla made spaghetti with an elaborate sauce, and the day was gone. Dinner that day ended peacefully, but. Dinner as Natsuko put the dishes away, Mashita whispered to him with a meek look on her face. <laughs> Mashita glanced at the sofa. Yuri and Sally were relaxing there, reading books. Two 
心配かけたくないんだ。マチュー didn't have the slightest idea of what マシュー was trying to say。わかったよ。僕の部屋に行こう。That Natsuko led Mashita to his room. Dozo, Mashiro. Mashiro shyly entered after being invited in. De, Nanda, Hanashite. Yoka do Shoka, Sukoku, my old Tandakito. Imakara Hanasana Yoga Donna Monodemo, Shinji de Kuru. Ah, Motiron da. Arigata. Marshall replied and then meekly whispered. Oh. Natsuko doubted his ears. Never even expected to hear the word terrorism. いくらなんでもそれは冗談じゃないよ本気だよ<笑>ごごめん信じるって言ったのにな Correct. でもなんで急にそんなことを言い出したんだ今日バスに乗って帰る途中急に私が黙り込んだの覚えてるいや、yeah. えああ Now that she mentioned it, that did happen. Mashita said she heard someone complain about their noise level. コミュニケーターは忌むべき存在だこんな町の歴史は終わらせてやる結婚の日は近いってえっ私ひょっとしちゃって慌てて耳を澄ましてみたんだけどすると声の主も黙っちゃって Would have been a perfect time to accidentally uncover the secret of empathy 聞き間違いだと思うことにしたんだけどやっぱり気になってさなんかだんだん怖くなってきちゃってさマシュー voice oozed with fear face was pale and her shoulders shook little by little There was something strange about her お,おいマシュー大丈夫か大丈夫ちょっと思い出して置かなくなっただけそれより私思うんだけどあの人ニュースでやってたコミュニケーター排斥をもくろむ過激派あれじゃないかって気がするのナチコ had, al- had also heard about those extremists one of them to be muttering to himself sounded a little eerie but believable enough perhaps this incident also had something to do with how Ukita had said there was a rise in people who did not like communicators in this town 声の主の顔見たのかえっとちゃんと見たわけじゃないけどそれでももう一度言えばきっとわかるマシュドフォーカスタワーのナツヒコエシスポークねえきっとこのことに気づいてるのは私たちだけだよだったら何としてもテロを阻止しなきゃおいおい落ち着けよマシロそんな独り言を言っていたからってテロリストとは限らないだろえええ例えば誰かを殺したいって独り言を言っていたとしても本当に殺人が起きるとは限らないしさ I suppose you could just be really angry and twisted and say The day is coming, I'll kill you all. Squish your head, squish your head. Just a vent, but that's still not a very healthy venting tactic. That's a very much a bridge to actually acting on it. So, Janai! Are you a whole mono terrorist? Nande so ekiler. 
That's why making terroristic threats is a crime. Because you don't make those kind of things... Because you shouldn't take those kinds of threats lightly. Marshall swallowed her words. She seemed unable to find how to continue. But if we believe her, we should at least take it seriously. This is kind of... I mean, I'd say we could. I'd say my balance would be okay. Yeah, it's serious. But where? What are the chances of us running into it again? What are the chances of us running one running into him again? Two being able to identify him. Three, once we, if we identify him, what the fuck we do we do, do next? Four, also a good point, Natsuhiko. Yes, I am in fact a high school student, Mashiro. Well, yeah, it's not like my first instinct to hearing this story would be, well, let's go and stop him, would it? In his heart of hearts, Natsuhiko did not truly believe Mashiro's story. Okay. He spoke gently so as to not hurt her feelings. どうしても気になるなら、警察や市の保安官にでも通報するべきだよ。それが僕らにできる精一杯のことさ。そこから先は関係のない。Yes, it does because we're communicators. 関係なくないよ。私たちの街が狙われてるんだよ。通報以外にもできることがあるかもしれないじゃん。Natsuhiko was a little shocked. Marshall's words sounded a little melodramatic to him. Uh-oh. Bad. Hmm? Yokare when Marshall heard that, she just smiled sadly. Natsuhiko, for the life of it, remember what she was talking about. Something like that did happen. It must have been far in the past. Oh? Eventually, a door to Natsuhiko's memory opened. That's right, it was that day, nine years ago. When I tried to go somewhere with Yuri. Oh! Are we getting this now? And Marshall tried to stop me. The conversation they had in the distant past came back to life in his heart. あんなところ行っちゃダメだって。え?マシロビビってるのかじゃあいいや。ユーリ誘おうかな。何さそれ。近くいつもユーリユーリって。なんだよ。まさかやきもち男女のくせに。ナツヒコなんかもう知らない。
それで終わりにしようどの道僕らにできることなんてそれくらいしかないんだからそっか本当に変わっちゃったんだねマシュラ smiled in resignation A moment later her expression turned to anger そんなに安全が好きならずっと家にいればもう夏彦には頼らないよじゃあねお,おいちょっと待てよマシロマシロ flew out of the room as if to shake off ナツヒコ from stopping her confused ナツヒコ tried to chase after her but the time he left the house マシロ was already nowhere to be found evening rain had stopped and the stars were somewhat visible なんだよあいつ Natsuko muttered as if to spit out his bitterness. <sighs> my, my boy, it could have softened the delivery and still acknowledge the danger. But I can't deny your side of this, Natsuko. Even if the point that we seem to be getting at is that Natsuko's been living his life too safe. He had no clue what made Mashiro so mad. Yeah, even if the point that we're trying to get Natsuko to come out of is to come out of his shell, stop living his life so safe, discover himself. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get over anything by retreating into yourself like this. I feel like that's what we need to get out of this, but. Like, I feel like that's what, where we're trying to take Natsuko's growth here. But I can't deny his point of view. We're high school kids and they're terrorists. What are we going to do? Didn't say anything wrong, did I? Telepathy them to death? Natsuko looked up at the sky with that shaky conviction of his. Sparkling stars dotted the whole sky. Why is this a salute choice? The stars were spread out far apart and never seemed to overlap. Much in the same way that human hearts never do. The distance between them all was hopelessly far. Even if we've known each other for years, there are still several things we don't understand about each other, huh? I thought in mind, Natsuko turned back and. Ooh. Oh, hi. Before he had noticed her, Sally was standing right behind him. Natsuko recalled how this had happened before as he spoke. Sally paused for a moment before continuing. ひじょうにきになるじょうきょうではあるうんましろのこいをぶんせきしたアリスがいままでにないはんのうしたんさきほどのましろのこいにふくまれているかんじょうはいかりとらくたんとかなしみそそんなことまでわかるのかおそら
Allison let, then let, let out a frail voice. <laughs> Sally's expression stiffened. You're sad too, Natsiko. She stared hard at Natsiko. Alice has betrayed your true thoughts, Natsiko. Yes. Sally glared at Natsiko discontentedly. Still, she didn't head back inside. Awkward silence wound between them. What? What? What's Sally trying to do here? He wanted her to just leave him alone, but he dared not say it. It'd feel a little awkward to rub Sally the wrong way right after having a fight with Mashiro. Is there anything we can talk about? But he suddenly remembered. A similar situation happened before. So in order to distract them from the awkward situation, Natsuko tried to ask about that certain topic. あの、そういえば、一昨日あたりにも玄関先でこんな妙な会話したことがあったな。妙な会話。ほら、僕に星が好きとか名前の意味はとか質問してきたじゃないか。うん。確かに質問した。あれって何の質問だったんだ? Sally answered with a look on her face that said it should have been obvious. Well, it kind of worked. So, in a way. Can't deny I've got the job done. That is true. Understandable, especially when you're nervous about broaching a subject that you're interested in. We really weren't blunt and kind of rude. Natsuko ended up apologizing on impulse. Then, after regathering his thoughts, he continued. God, I'm really... There's a, I'm seeing a lot of myself and not Seiko, and I'm don't, not sure how I feel about that. Oh? Sally pointed at the night sky as she spoke. Nazuhiko,知ってる? Nazno Hoshi. Oh. Heaven River. Star in the Heaven River. Let's see, Grad and I actually hadn't noticed that before. Now that I thought about it, Yuri men mentioned something similar long ago in the past. Back then, Yuri had said, Ikoboshi is your star, isn't it, Natsuhiko? Your names do sound the same. なるほどね。でも、共通点ってのは? <laughs> 
有利の星なるほどそうきたか s a l l y had, had a minute before. It was a little forced, but it certainly did seem to match. Ja, Mashroa? Mashroa, Nanika, or no? Tanabata no Yoru. Amanogawa Niva, Torino Hanede Skurata Hashima Kakaruto Yaratero. Korede, Toba Mashromo Complito. Oh, oh. Sumari, Anata Tats no Namaiwa, Zain Tanabata Densets in Kanke Stero. 全然気づかなかった。That was something that neither Natsuko Yuri nor Mashiro had ever noticed before. It was something that Natsuko had never expected that Salyu, having been born in France, would point out. Salyu, Hoshini Kuashin da na. Salyu ever so slightly puffed out her chest in pride and replied, Watashi wa nan demo Kuashi kedo. Toku ni, Mukashi kara Hoshi wa ski. Chinami ni Salyu wa? サイルイウって言葉があるって言ってたけどうんそれこそこじつけの極地だけど That's, that's fair because that's, that's okay because you, you deserve to be in this metaphor too, サイルイウあなたに降る雨をサイルイウと呼ぶ織姫と彦星の流す涙だと言われている<笑>じゃあこれで4人とも全員七夕に関する名前を持ってるってことになるな Sally suddenly sank into silence. She then steeled herself and spoke up. Anna, Natsuko. So much alliteration. What does no Hana s e o m o s i r o i Yeah. Eh? u n i Noni. Just say yes, boy. h a k u n i s t a i d a k e Oh, oh. o m o s i r o k a t a A many m o n a t a s i So. y o k a t a Oh, it's actually really happy. And finally, Sally smiled ever so slightly. Again. Deo, what a shiva, Nika Garno de Heani Motor. Oh, Matasta Moikinariana. Tanin no Kenkaniva Kuchidashi Surbeki de Nai to Ivareta Kara. Korejo Hanaskoto and I. Demo Anata Tachiva Kyotsu no Namayo Motz Nakama. Nakayoku Stahoo my Itomo. Eh? What a s t o s t e m o Natsuko to Mashroa. Sorry. Thought you were done talking. And with that, Sal Yu quickly went back inside. Natsuko just stood by himself outside, staring at the door in astonishment. What just happened? No way. No way. Did Sal Yu just console me? It's hard to believe it since it happened out of nowhere, but he couldn't think of any other possibility. Sal Yu is a good guy. Yeah. Natsuko whispered with a wry smile. Although Sally may have said all that, Natsuko still didn't quite understand the reason Mashita was so mad. I know he told me to get along with her, but how? Natsuko mulled over that thought as he went back inside. Headed for, towards his room without stopping by the living room. He sat on his bed and began to think about what happened with Mashita. Suddenly, he heard a knock on the door. Ikorin, it's time for your daily watch smashing. Yurika, I tell you, Dozo. Yes, Yuri. Yuri timidly walked into Natsuko's room. Dostanda, Yuri. Hea o Tazneta Kurtoa, Mesrosino. Nanka, Mashirono, Okina Kueka Kikueta Kara. Ah, Kikueta Tanoka. さっきの話少しだけ Apparently since they talked so loud, Yuri had even heard it in the living room. Natsuko looked around awkwardly as Yuri questioned him. マシロン怒っていたみたいだけど何かあったのいや、僕にも何が何だかわからないんだけどさ。Natsuko summarized the conversation he and Mashiro had. マシロはどうして怒ったんだろうな。Yuri frowned at Natsuko as she responded. もしかしたらってのはあるけど。何マシロンは
昔のヒコリンに戻ってもらいたいんじゃないかな正義感が強かったヒコリンが今じゃすっかり変わってしまった気がして悲しかったんだと思うよえ昔のってユリスマイルスライビアシナーデで街を駆け回っていた子供の頃あの頃のヒコリンに戻ってほしいだけなんだよ誰かが困ってたり泣いてたりしたらすぐに助けに来てくれたものね It's really understandable why he changed, but... マシロンも私も助けられたことあるし I'm feeling that this is a big、uh, this is just a character scene choice Certainly enough, Natsuko did have a stronger sense of justice and initiative back then. It was like that back. That back. It was like that back time. Back time? Back then, too. Natsuko remembered the past once more. Remembered when his sense of justice compelled him to save Yuri. Ten years ago. The day they read the book together, Natsuko and Yuri quickly became friends. Wouldn't just play together when they met at the park. Yuri would also come visit Natsuko's house to play. お邪魔しまーす。あ、はい、どうぞ。This is first time having a girl come to his house to play, so Natsuko was a little nervous. ああ、Natsuko くんちって広いね。そうかな、そうかな。Certainly was a big house, but that didn't stop it from feeling lonely from time to time. His father had already passed away, and his mother came home late, so Natsuko was happy to have a visitor. Yuri took notice of the digital photo frame decorating a corner of the living room. The digital photo frame had a picture of Natsuhiko with his mom. It was a picture taken just the other day. His mother was smiling faintly with her hand on Natsuhiko's shoulder. Yeah. Nice, my mom. What? Natsuko loved his mom, but it was a little awkward hearing someone praise her. So, 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 <laughs> Yuri smiled in relief at Natsuko's frantic attempt to smooth things over. As they read the book together, it eventually started to get dark outside the window. もうこんな時間だぞ。帰らなくていいのか。え、もうちょっとだけ遊ぼうよ。でも、もう5時半だよ。そうだけど、でも。もうすぐ晩ご飯の時間だよ。Oh. Natsuko pressed her as, she showed, as he showed her his watch. And it was 6.19, 9.16! <gasps> Yuri turned her face away as to run away from the time, but... She eventually gave up. Yuri nodded and left the house. And that's the end of the memory, and Natsuko goes to a, thinks to himself, Why do I remember this? Nothing fucking happened. She looked so sad to Natsuko as she left. But a little while after he turned to his room, <laughs> noticed Yuri's book had been left, left on the desk. <laughs> Natsuko left the house, book in hand. He knew where Yuri lived. 
He had walked with her to the front door, in front of her house once after they had played in the park. Never been inside Yuri's house before, huh? Wonder if I'll be allowed inside. Wonder what Yuri's room looks like. Natsuko walked on, a little nervous for some reason. Eventually, he reached familiar mun municipal housing. <laughs> Natsuko cleared his throat and pressed the doorbell. After a while, Yuri came out with a dark look on her face. As Natsuko started talking, oh, I have a bad feeling about this all of a sudden. An angry voice suddenly erupted from the house. Oh no. Natsuko's body shook at the sound of those violent voices. Stop there. Man and a woman appeared to be fighting. Huh? What? Don't tell me those two are Yuri's mom and dad. Natsuko's father was still alive. He never saw his parents fighting. When he looked at Yuri in bewilderment, she just smiled at him. As he handed the book back, Natsuko noticed something. Yuri's smile seemed horribly sad compared to her usual smile. Oof. The abusive words rang out endlessly. Yuri shrank in fear. Uh, Oh. couldn't help but fall silent at, the, at her sharp voice. Door closed in front of Natsuko's face. Natsuko left, unable to do anything else. He thought to himself as he walked in the darkness. This is unacceptable. Must Yuri be forced to make such a sad face? After thinking his hardest, even as a young boy, Natsuko connected the dots. The reason Yuri was always so reluctant to go home was because of those parents. Bad case. Eventually began to think. Is there a way he could change Yuri's sadness into a smile? Is there a way he could save her? Save her. Traverse the dusk bathed the streets. The young boy made a resolute decision. Back then, Natsuko certainly did want to save Yuri. He would act according to his sense of justice without considering any complicated things like other people's familial circumstances. Just as Yuri had said, he once did have that sort of quality to him. But he still did not want to believe that the past him was the better him. でも、なあ、ユリ。今の僕の考えってそんなに良くないかな。え?あの頃は確かに自分なりの正義感に従って僕は自分から行動を起こしていた。だけどそんなの、所詮は子供の考えだよ。結局その結果どうなったか。そば
Yet Yuri herself looked Natsuko in the eye and responded. <laughs> Yuri's tone of voice changed abruptly, startling Natsuhiko. It couldn't be, he thought as he looked at Yuri. As he looked at her, there was a look in her eyes that was different from normal. Again, I suppose we're getting to the point where his mindset isn't wrong. It's just there for the. It's just bad because he has this mindset for the wrong reasons. It's sort of a mindset came about through unresolved trauma of his first labor visit. Which I really hope we get to see what happened at some point. For now. Still have some of these to read, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want to. Okay, telepathy. Basically, BC ability of conveying one's thoughts to others. Telepathy works by intaking atmospheric W particles, combining them with BC energy loaded with any arbitrary information expressed in your voice to convert them to M particles. Putting those M particles into other people's brains. In practice, M particles can be made but retain stability for longer, thus increasing the effective range of telepathy. Furthermore, by knowing the BC energy frequency varies from person to person, directionality can be given to one's messages. I don't control over who was able to pick up the information. Ah yes, the BC receptor. Organ recently confirmed to exist in the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the organ in charge of thought, decision making, and the control of elements and memories. The receptor is a general term for something that receives stimuli from hormones and other chemical substances. The individual's BC aptitude is calculated from the BC rece receptor's state of development. Okay. Okay, I like that. Which in turn determines the extent to which an individual can potentially use BC abilities to send and receive information. Though improved BC ability can be acquired through training to some extent, the BC receptor's final state of development is mostly congenital. Thus, the acquired increase of potential is considered to be impossible by principle. BOBO -BO Episode 2 Love is Mysterious Power times one even stronger than psychic power. Kirala's close, close friend Miko begins to develop a small crush on Mamoru, the ace of the track and field club. When Kirara finds out, she decides that the easiest solution is to use psychokinesis to bring them physically closer together. Thus Kirara transforms into Beyond Kami. Soon realizes, realizes she's too young to even understand exactly what love is. Not everything can be solved with psychic powers. Only medical treatment can heal someone's wounds. Only sincere feelings can move someone's heart. Yet he warns Kirara about this fact, but perhaps she's too young to even understand that. Perhaps. I swore upon my heart to protect this town I love and the gentle hearts of all the people I love. I swear I'll defeat nobody. Secret society, nobody plots for world domination using the dark psychic power, dark or dark Lloyd telepathy, to manipulate people's minds. Kirara uses telepathy in a sincere entreaty to those who have lost themselves to the amplified malice. It ultimately allows the people to regain their calm minds to the knowledge that their thankless good deeds have not gone unnoticed by the gentle girl. There are things that cannot be done with psychic powers alone. At the same time, there are things that can be done because of psychic powers. A famous scene, famous scene detailing both hope and the limits of psychic powers. When she heard of Jun's desire to become a rescue worker out of admiration for the heroes that save people rather than the heroines who need to be saved, Mashna approved, saying, When I was a kid, I too swore to myself that I would protect this town I so dearly love. Though she spoke of it as if it were in the past, the passion to be a hero that saves people was still burning within her heart. That passion should be apparent judging by what she did later. Judging by this, and her disapproval of Natsuhiko taking the safe stance, saying that's reported to the police and whatnot. Which I get. God, this this is tough because both sides make both sides make good points, but I know that we're gonna have to have Natsuhiko grow out of his current state. 
it's like, well, I can't disagree with this thought that we're high school students, what are we supposed to do in terms of stopping terrorism? I also can't disagree that he's likely stuck in these ways as a result of that trauma. It's curious. We'll see what happens. You got me back. I'm, 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 I'm back in it again. I'm back in it. 